Hi, welcome back to Technique of the Week. I'm Shihan Marty Noel, glad you could join us. Today we're gonna to be working on the mechanics of a wrist lock that we call Kota Gaish. Kota Gaish is, a, is essentially a very uh, useful and very uh, basic wrist lock. And there are some things I want you to think about as you work on this particular technique. When Sensei comes in and attacks me, whether it's a push or whatever, if it's something where I can get a hold of his arm, if he's coming in doing a fast punch, I'm not going to use that. But if he's grabbing, pushing me or he's grabbing a hold of my, my, my gi, I can basically go into that code gaish. And a, a very, the very basic way of working code gaish initially is to take and do a bit of an X block and then bring your hand, his hand up. And I'm going to take my little fingers and place them on the crevice or, of his wrist. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm not taking it straight back to his bicep. I'm going to turn it out and go to this corner. So if I'm doing it off, a, let's say I'm doing it off a, a low push. I'm coming in, blocking, bring it around. And my fingers, this is again a training aid more so than the actual way I would do it on the street. But essentially my fingers are up. I'm pointing down to the ground here. My little fingers are on the crease of his wrist right here. And then I'm taking my, my thumbs are bit basically below these knuckles here. I'm on the back of his hand. My fingers are up and I just point the fingers down. Now that's the training version, if you will. It's not the way you would do it and, and you know, do it for real. So what happens is when he comes in, if I was using this as a technique, it's gonna be the same thing, but I'm holding it this way without my fingers. I'm just using the fingers up as a guide so that you understand that you're basically turning the wrist out and down. So I want to go, I want to kind of create a triangle with, with this technique, all right? And that's called Kota Gaish. So essentially I can do that with one hand and then grab with both. Um, if he's holding on to me here, I can do the peels I just showed a second ago. I can peel him away here and then drive in. Uh, this is another variation. Instead of holding him here, I can hold it with the thumb behind his hand and then place the uh, lower part of my palm the palm heel, if you will, I can place it there on his, his hand and then just push him down. So that is called Kota Gaish. All I'm doing is I'm basically turning his wrist out and taking the energy back, creating stress on his, his uh, wrist. So this is a variation on, on the Kota Gaish. Instead of taking him straight this way, I can actually take and, and move him this way. If, especially if I have another, if the attacker was where the camera's positioned, if I wanted to position him differently, I would bring him around and have him between me and, and the other assailant. You can also use this where someone has grabbed you. If he grabs my arm, I can essentially bring him down and uh, do the same motion. And what I'm doing there is I'm using my, my forearm instead of my palm or my, my thumb, I'm using the, the forearm to drive him back. I find that's actually a lot more potent to uh, do the Kodagish that way. So a variation on that is if he goes to grab me and I'm using my arm to take him down so that he has trouble pushing my arm out of the way, I can actually lock onto my own wrist. And then as he pushes, if I bend my wrist, he's actually helping me to throw him or to apply pain to his wrist. So as he pushes the harder, he pushes the more pain it's gonna cause on his wrist. Doesn't seem fair, does it? So again, he grabs me, I basically come back with my forearm. The first variation I showed you was the training version where the fingers are up in the air and you're pointing down. Again, you don't leave the fingers up for, for real, practice, for real uh, performance. It's just for practice as you're learning this technique. It's essentially one, your X block, bring it around, the fingers are up. My little fingers are on the uh, crease of his wrist. I'm basically pointing towards the corner and just taking straight down. That's the way to initially get the feel for the wrist lock for Kota Gaish. After you've got that down, then it's just a matter of leaving thumbs behind, right? Or if you want more power, bring your arm up, excuse me, bring your arm up this way and down, but if he starts to push on your elbow, just grab your forearm, and it's a much more, um, much more foolproof to do the motion this way. I'm locking my arm, with my right hand, my left arm with my right hand, and uh, basically applying the pressure against his, his hand. Okay. So that's Kota Gaish. Again, I'm Shihan Marty Noel. Glad you could join us. Hopefully this will be a, a good technique for you to add to your self-defense repertoire. Take care. We'll see you in a future video.